The Golden Gophers of Minnesota wheeled out of Minneapolis last fall with a squad led by fiery Paul Giel. Their All-American continued to rewrite record books, but the Gopher line couldn't match their backs, and they wound up in a fifth-place tie. Coach Wes Fessler teaches a varied offense at Minnesota. Left end was Jim Soltow. Gopher halfback was Bob McNamara. And number 10, All-American Paul Giel. Minnesota's Golden Gophers, wearing dark jerseys, work their running attack on this play. Halfback Bob McNamara takes the handoff, cracks over the left side of the Michigan line, and gains 14 yards before Ted Crest stops him. McNamara had the second highest rushing record for Minnesota. With the ball on the Michigan five-yard line, the Gophers ask Paul Giel to carry the mail. He's headed for pay dirt as he slips through Wolverine tacklers and goes into the end zone to score. Gale is the only college football player in history to handle the ball over a thousand times in any three-year span. In this, the Michigan game, Paul Gale rushed and passed 53 times to break a Big Ten record of 49, which he and two others held. On this play, Gale fires a strike to Jim Soltaw, and the big end pulls it down. The play gains 16 yards for the Golden Gophers. And Bob Rutford caught two touchdown passes during the season, and here's one coming up as Minnesota's on the Wolverine nine. Again, it's Giel doing the pitching, and Rutford makes a terrific catch in the end zone. Giel passed for four touchdowns during the season, and his passing percentage was 538. Michigan in the light jerseys get ready to punt this time, and on the play you'll be able to see one of the reasons why Paul Giel is an All-American. The Wolverine punt comes downfield, is taken by Giel, who eludes one Michigan tackler and then starts upfield. Elusive with a change of pace and neat faking, Giel returns the Michigan punt for plenty of yardage before Tony Branoff trips him up. Giel's 281 yards gained rushing and passing against Michigan, the 53 plays against the Wolverines, and 457 yards gained by passing against conference teams were all new Minnesota records. 